and Monday is Halloween, as we all know. But did you know it is also National Magic Day? And what better way to get us ready to <laughs> celebrate than with our favorite magician, Brad Brown, joining us back in the studio. Always great to see you, Brad. Thanks so much. It's great to be back. Uh, great what, to meet you. What have yes, you been up nice to nice since the last you. time you were here? Uh, well, things are opening up again, so I'm able to do more magic than I have in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. this, uh, tomorrow I'm in... Where am I? Tomorrow I'm in Dry Ridge. Next day I'm in Indianapolis area. Next day I'm in California. So it's probably moving. your wow. busy time, All isn't over. it? Yeah. Yeah. So Monday is National Magic Day to remember Houdini, right? It is. Yes. yes. And so anything about that that you want to tell us about? Anything about we well, need to remember about Houdini? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, he's obviously a very famous magician, magician yeah. and mm -hmm. escape artist. But uh, most people think he died in some dramatic way on stage. Uh, but the truth is, he died of appendicitis. He oh, was a ruptured wow. appendix, died in the hospital. Wow. But he died, and there's kind of a story behind that. He was punched in the stomach a couple days earlier, and at the time they thought that's what caused it. Now we think that's kind of unlikely. But Interesting mm -hmm. fact about Houdini. But, but yes, yeah. but he died on Halloween, and. He did? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. It adds to the mystique, right? It so it, I'm glad they I started a Houdini day. Actually, the next year they had a, a Houdini day, but it did become a. National Day on the 31st until yeah. about 12 years later. Okay. And ever since then, it's been National Magic Day, and it's celebrated by magicians going to places where people can't normally see magic and performing is kind of like well, here. Very cool, yeah. And let's well, get to it. Yeah, we know you do it on a regular <laughs> basis, Brad. So what, what sort of magic do you have for us today? Well, in honor of Halloween slash National Magic Day, I thought I'd do something with a ghost. Oh, uh, okay. So I have, I have this right here. This is a ghost containment cube. Oh, So okay. the ghost is in there. Well, I bought it on the internet. That's what they said. Okay. Uh, you see oh. the ghost? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, uh, no. Well, that's because it's imaginary. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I, but I, actually, I'm going to need your help. Will you, can you hold out your hand? Sure. And we'll just, i just put that right there. With the ghost containment cube. And, okay, don't move. Okay. Don't okay. the ghost. You can move right. if you want to. All right, here we go. So, my job as a magician is to make imaginary things seem real. So, we'll see if this imaginary ghost can do anything. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Here it comes. Look at that. You're not doing that, Michelle? I'm not doing anything. I'm like, still. You're just oh, holding it. Whoa. What? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Hey, you want to get a peek under there? I do. There you Is go. There... Yeah, it's, it's still imaginary, but it's, it's right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. We... Wow. 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 Can, we, can we put him back? Oh, oh geez. He's coming, <laughs> coming over this way. Yeah, we, we, should, we should probably put him away before something bad happens. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. No strings oh, are now that is, Now, that's the magic right there. Wow. Amazing, Brad. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, don't it's, be afraid. Thank very you. friendly, though. And, of course, you perform, like, these fun and family-friendly shows I all do. the time, right? I do, yeah. Actually, if we have a second, the ghost can maybe do something else. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we, oh, okay. We yeah, if we have time. Uh, yeah. Actually, can you hold on to... The two corners there. Okay. Yeah, you have. Okay. And I'll hold on to these two, and we'll see if the ghost can do anything more interesting. Okay. <gasps> the table. Well, the, what? What? Wait, wait. The table is actually, and you get, you're just. Wait a minute. Yeah, and you can check this out. There are no strings or wires up here. You can peek underneath there if you like. Oh, my gosh. What is, is that going on? Right. Right. We let everybody get a look under there. There's, Come on, Pete. Yeah. What do you see? Any? Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's kind of floating around. I got to know how you, you, oh, you do this. Oh, my goodness. Well. Now, that's magic. Look at everybody. They're taking the videos wow. and everything. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. Now, I mean, okay, so, Brad, if, if people want to come out and see your full show, you, you do these, what, weekly in Dry Ridge? I do, yeah. I do shows twice a week in Dry Ridge. It's about five miles from the Ark Encounter. Okay. And then, like you said, you also have, like, a touring <laughs> schedule and things. If people want to check out your schedule and see where you are, maybe uh, Carefully could attack. furniture you could help people move, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, the best way is through my website, which is KentuckyMagicShow.com. Birthdays, okay. parties. I don't do a lot of birthdays. And actually, I don't do that much local other than that show. Yeah. Okay. Out-of-town talent is better, so I have to go be out-of-town talent. That, that actually kind of... Kind of freaked me out a little bit there. All right. Wow. Well, uh, hey, can we, uh, magician Brad Brown, thank you so much for being I'm like flabbergasted. That was I absolutely am amazing. I got to know how you did this. I just want to know what, where the ghost is now. Yeah. After that. It was in here. Hopefully back in the containment queue. Well, we'll you'll find out. Yeah. All right. Well, Brad, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I think. That'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs>